What's going on, Big Blue Nation? Thanks for checking out the UK Superfan channel. On today's video, we're going to preview Kentucky's big game Tuesday night as we travel down to Tuscaloosa, Alabama for round two versus the Crimson Tide. And I'm not just going to preview the game, uh, but later in the video, I'm going to really uh, tell you exactly how Kentucky is going to go down there and uh, beat this top ten Crimson Tide team. Uh, now, if you like what we're doing here on the channel, uh, you'd like to support it, uh, you can do so by just hitting that like button under the video. Uh, it helps the channel a ton. Uh, you can go ahead and hit the subscribe button and the little bell beside of it, and it'll let you know. Basically, it'll uh, give you the heads up anytime we put a new video up on the channel. Alrighty, now that we got that out of the way, we can move right on into the preview here. You know, it was just two weeks ago that Bama came in here to Rupp, and you know, they worked us over pretty good. Uh, beat us 85 to 65. You know, and from there, you know, they kind of, you know, just kept their hot shooting. You know, uh, they went to, uh, they had another, they played Arkansas, beat them 90 to 59. You know, and then last Tuesday, they broke the SEC record for three-pointers in a game. They hit 23, swished 23 three-pointers in that 105-75 blowout of LSU down in Baton Rouge. Then on Saturday night, they, they kept the winning going, uh, you know, 81 to 73 over Mississippi State. You know, and that, that's a perfect 8 0 in the SEC and uh, nine consecutive wins overall for uh, Nate Oates' squad. You know, they've scored over 80 points in, uh, in every one of those games but one. You know, and. Uh, you know, I did a pretty thorough breakdown of uh, all the Bama squad, their whole entire roster, uh, on the video a couple weeks ago, and uh, it's a pretty good companion piece. If you can feel free to go back in the archives and uh, watch that video, where I, I, I give a little bit more a uh, player-to-player assessment than I will necessarily in this video. I'm going to talk a little bit more in this video about what Bama's been doing recently and what we're going to need to do to win the game and. Um, you know, before I get into that, you see a 6'10", Jordan Bruner there. He's listed. Now, he got hurt in the Kentucky game. Had a meniscus tear. He's going to be out a few weeks, so he's not playing. And uh, they basically inserted Alex Reese, who's a 6'9", senior, that sort of plays the same way Bruner does. He's just a little shorter, but he's still a big, stocky guy. He weighs about 230 pounds. Uh, but it does take, you know, their, you know, tallest player off the floor and uh, one of the things that Bruner does and Alex Reese does the same thing is is they like to uh, keep that big out on the perimeter that way we don't have a shot blocking presence and I'll get get to that a little bit later in the video when I really start talking about uh, you know how we're going to win this game but you know John Petty he's you see him there. I mean, he's already blown past. He's the, he's now the all-time leading three-point shooter in the history of Alabama basketball history. Um, you know, and, and this Bama team, you know, they'll take half their shots from three-point land. Uh, you know, Petty, he's a catalyst of the bunch. You know, he runs the show. He plays fast. You know, he's going to look to fire them up quick. Bama loves transition threes, uh, you know, but the problem we had with Petty was the first time is when we tried to get out on him, he just blew past us and then got easy looks at the rim. You know, in most games, if you look at his shot chart, uh, you know, it's mostly 90% of the time behind the three-point line because uh, people just are, uh, you know, they're giving him room to keep him out of the lane, but he's just burning him on three-pointers. And, uh, you know... You know, UK put some longer players on him, you know, to try to get him to stop shooting threes, and then he just drove to the lane. Um, you know, if we if we want to have any shot at slowing down Bama or, or beating this hot Bama team uh, in their building, we're going to have to find some way to deny him access to the ball, uh, which is obviously going to be a chore easier said than done. You know, you can look at this Bama team and, uh, you know, this nine-game winning streak, and you can also point to Josh Primo there. You know, nine games ago, coincidentally, is when Coach Nate Oates put Primo in the starting lineup. You know, and he comes in here red hot. 
You know, he's hit 15 of his last 25 three-pointers. So, you know, there you go. I mean, that that's, you know, that's what Bama's doing. I mean, they're just shooting the rock from deep, and they're hitting them at a high rate. You know, um, you know, as a team, Bama hit 14 out of 30 when they beat us two weeks ago. Uh, so, you know, if it wasn't an open three, it seemed like it was a blow-by for a layup. Uh, you know, and, and that's what, you know, Coach Nate, Coach Nate Oates, he wants – he wants his team to play fast. Uh, but he isn't going to do anything stupid like Will Wade did Saturday night, you know, when the LSU coach, you know, pressed UK and forced us to run. You know, and here we've struggled all season to consistently score in the half court. And, uh, you know, we kind of got, you know, kind of got lucky, you know, because but the, that press forced us to get out in transition and, you uh, it allowed us, uh, we actually cut down on our turnovers by playing faster, believe it or not. And, uh, and I think that's a huge, that's a huge difference in the, uh, uh, the, just the, the fact that we were able to score 80 some points, you know, was the fact that we weren't turning it over and we were actually getting shots up at the rim and, uh, good looks, uh, because of the press, we were able to, to, you know, I, I seem like, we got great look after great look there in the first half, especially. And, uh, you know, Bama, they're going to want us to play in the half court, you know. But to me, Kentucky's got the horses to run with Bama. You know, one of the big keys is, you know, can the Cats push the ball and get in a transition? You know, why on earth Will Wade thought it was a good idea to force us into running Saturday? I don't know. But I'm definitely sure that uh, Bama will be emphasizing getting – uh, getting back and, and and forcing us to stay in the half court. That's certainly what I'd be doing, you know, if I was looking at the tape on, on us. But, um, you know, so so now let's talk about how can Kentucky, how can our Cats, coming off this big, huge win, one of the funnest, well, the funnest game we played all year, uh, and how are we going to go down there and beat one of the hottest teams in the country? Well, I'm going to lay it out here. You know, in the half court, we're going to have to communicate on defense like we never have. And we're, we're a good defensive team. You know, we're, we're 13th in the nation uh, in defense, defensive, uh, defensive efficiency. I'll get it out here in a second. So, you know, we're going to need to call out screens. You know, we're going to have to have a plan on how we want to defend their screen action. And uh, we're going to have to fight over the top of screens. Uh, you know, and, and if we can do this, you know, They'll be shooting long contested threes, and that's what we want. We want long contested threes. We want them to push them off their spot, get them back a foot, foot and a half, and and make them contested. Don't let them square up uh, right on that three point line. You can't do that. Now, now phase two, you know, there cannot be any lapses in transition defense. You know, when you check into the game you got to know who you're guarding, and you must race back down the floor. Bama loves pushing it up the court after you've made a basket on them and bust an open three in transition. And that's really what Petty does. I mean, he shoots about ten threes a game and at least, and probably half of them are in transition. Uh, now, phase three here, you know, if you're going to stay home on the shooters, then they're going to turn into drivers, and this is this is to me one of the you know this is super important because I have no doubt that we can force them into drivers. I believe I know this Kentucky team with third link we can force them into drivers, but it's imperative that Jackson, Sar, Brooks, and Ware protect the rim. That they, they can't get caught too far out on the court, and 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 I know Bama you know it's a it's a tough scenario because Bama is going to want to uh, have four guys spread out around the three-point line at all times, sometimes five, um, but typically four. And what that really does is that that opens up and it gets your bigs out on the floor. And when they drive past you, then you have no rim protection. So you're going to have to have a plan for how you're going to do that. And really, I think the biggest thing is, is Brooks is going to have to play a lot of minutes at the four and where sub for him, and, and, and we're just going to have to play with either or Sar and Jackson. And both those guys are going to have to split those minutes, 
and they're going to have to play out of their minds good. Both of them are going to have to play tough. Both of them are going to have to get rebounds. We're going to need both of them to, to get you know, close to 10 rebounds apiece, and they're only going to get to play probably 20, 25 minutes apiece, if that. But that that's going to be big because Bama's going to beat us off the dribble some. If we're out there you know, trying to get up in shooters' faces, they're gonna they're gonna get past us, you know. So we've got to form a wall, and we've got to block about ten shots and alter many, many more. That's that's gonna be a huge, huge factor, you know. Make Bama work their tails off for every point they get, you know. And and all three of these phases that I'm talking about are gonna require a lot of discipline. But I think we can do this. I think I think Kentucky, you know, as I talked about in the last video. Uh, I, I thought I talked about bringing hope to the Big Blue Nation, and because I, I really did, I really thought we could beat LSU, and I really thought that we can still turn this season around. And if, if you go back and look at that video, you know, I kind of detail, uh, you know, how I think we can finish the season super strong. I kind of outlined the schedule, so that's another video, you know, that you if you might want to go back and look at is the 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 UK super fan brings hope and uh, preview the LSU game, but uh, it was more about the. Uh, the previewing the, the the rest of the season, and I think Kentucky, you know, we can get this done. We can, we've got the defense uh, that we we can slow this Bama team down. You know, I really do believe that. You know, and if uh, you know, really, what this game is going to come down to is, you know, if you're a big and you don't protect the rim, then you can't play in this game. You know, and if you're a guard and you can't keep up with your man in transition and you can't communicate and you can't fight over screens, then you just can't play in this game. But we need all nine of our guys locked in Tuesday night uh, with this game plan. You know, the LSU win was sweet on Saturday. Uh, but to go down and win in Tuscaloosa, man, that could be a season changer for our Cats. You know, and, and Kentucky, like I said, they can do these three phases, you know. We, we, we've got a good, you know, like I said, 13th in the nation in defensive efficiency. We can do this. Uh, you know, the thing about Bama, though, is they're not just one of these fast teams. You know, most times, you know, you think of a fast team, you think of a finesse team. No, not Bama. They're fast and they're physical both. And they're like, they're just ball hawks when it comes to getting to 50 50 and loose balls. And they're, they're really good at keeping balls alive on the rim and turning them into 50 50 balls. And, uh, you know, we saw a toughness the other night from Olivier Saar where he really got in there, literally stuck his face in there. I think he took a big elbow to the nose. I thought he broke his nose there for a minute. But we need that toughness from Saar and, and really this whole group. And we saw it from Jackson, too. You know, I mean, the way he was rebounding the ball the other night, it was so impressive. And we all know Jackson is, is one of the best shot blockers, uh, period, in the country. So, you know, these are things that, I, you know, I can foresee happening. Uh, you know, it, it really is. And, uh, but I, I really do think that uh, what's really going to be interesting, you know, if you really, well, uh, let's finish off. Saturday definitely was fun. We knocked down threes. What we have? Probably 10 or more alley-oop dunks. Uh, you know, Will Wade, like I said, he, he threw us a bone by pressing us. You know, no matter how good we play defensively, uh Though we we can't win this game playing eighty five percent of our possessions in the half court, uh, I mean that's just going to be a tall task. Uh, so we're, we're going to have to find a way to get out and push the ball. You know, and if you look at the game the other night, I think that we played against Alabama. One of the things that that really and I hate to reflect on that game too much because it was terrible, but uh, but they scored twenty eight points off of our turnovers. I mean that's a lot of points off turnovers. Um, so, you know, of all the things that we've talked about, you know, up to this point, the three phases, uh, really, in all honesty, we can do the three phases. But this is the one that really makes me nervous because, you know, if Kentucky can, um, you know, we can, if we can cut our turnovers down, then, you know, keep them at, say, 12 or under, I think we'll be right there. I think our defense is good enough that uh, we can keep this game in the low 70s. I believe in our defense. Um, you know, we, we keep those turnovers at 12 or under. Uh, as you're watching the game, I'd keep an eye on that stat, and uh, there we go. I think we can be right there, you know. Let's go down. Let's go down to Tuscaloosa Tuesday night, and let's shock the world.
Big Blue Nation. We're going to shock the world, and we're going to show Alabama and the rest of these boys that, that UK is still the team to beat in the SEC. 7 o'clock, ESPN. Guys, I appreciate all the support on the channel. Appreciate you guys checking out all the videos this year. It's all been awesome. Like I said, if you don't care, go ahead and hit that like button. Uh, if you feel so inclined, uh, just go ahead and hit the subscribe. I'll be here the rest of the season uh, breaking down the games, talking about our cats, cheering on our cats, encouraging. Hopefully, uh, like I said, we can go down there and, and get this big win. Y'all have a good night. I'll catch y'all on the next video. Go Cats!